And so if you can vibrationally acknowledge that you have it and viscerally feel that you have it and therefore know that you are it, then law of attraction cannot argue with you. But to say words that are empty and hollow is meaningless. So we just ask you to say the words that give you the best. Jerry and Esther, if they had a nickel for every email or letter they've gotten from people who are trying to get Abraham to stop using the word want, <laughs> we still wouldn't stop. Because it's a bridging word, and words don't mean diddly squat. The universe is not listening to your words and saying, oh, he still wants it, don't give him to it yet. Mm -hmm. right. He's still in the wanting mode, not yet, not yet. Okay. Oh, he's still using that word want, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> no, 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 we'll try to teach him no. We'll make the wind sound like no, no. We'll make the dog bark like no, no, no. We'll try to get him to say no, I want, no, I know, I know. Oh, he's still not there. The universe does not care what you say. The universe is responding to your vibration. In other words, the universe cares how you feel. And if you feel secure, you are. If you feel vulnerable, you are. If you feel healthy, you are. If you feel fat, you are. If you feel intelligent, you are. If you feel focused, you are. If you feel safe, you are. If you feel not safe, you are.